with the old Barry Bales. Cause I got a problem, I'm on the drink off my chest. I'm gonna spend the night getting down. Cause that old woman that I had wrapped down my thing is just coming around. episode of Backroads America. My name is John Mark Davis and this show is intended to give you my perspective on country music in little short segments. Now in this episode of Backroads America I want to talk about the most perfect country music artist to come along in modern times, Mr. George Strait. Uh, King George that is. Uh, I want to talk about George Strait because I feel like I am well versed on his career. I was there from the very beginning of this illustrious career. Not in person. I'm just talking about I was I followed him from the beginning of. It. You know, back in my rodeo days, which was a long time ago, I had a good friend of mine was going to college there at San Marcos. He and I just happened to be ended up in the same rodeo up in that area. So he he called me like a week ahead of time before the rodeo to let me know that that night after this rodeo we was going to go to Green Hall and watch a local guy play that was knocking them day. He was knocking them dead by playing just good country music to dance to and Texas swing music, the same stuff that he's known for today. We, uh, make a long story short, uh, some complications that happened at the rodeo. We stayed there way longer than what we were supposed to be and we missed the show altogether. Uh, well anyway, I'll never forget this. I was headed out for the night one night in 1981, going down the highway had the radio blaring and pulling on a cool one when I heard the song Unwound come on the radio. Now, I had to find out who this guy was because I'm telling you it was a good it was good and uh, it was country and it was it was awesome. So and you know you put two and two together, it's the same guy that played at Green Hall that night and uh, it was George the Straight. Well, you know he uh, he had the attention of the hill country. I mean, people would flock to these dance halls that he played at because it was just good music. And uh, we on the back roads know exactly what we like, whether they want to sell it to us or not. We know what we like. Well, we had a, uh, producers and managers that had taken notice of George, had tried to sell him to Nashville at the time. And they always sent him back with the same excuse, George is just too country. Well, finally one day they convinced Nashville to take a shot of this smooth talking, good looking cowboy from West Texas. They took a chance on him. They, they took a chance with the understanding of this right here. Uh, we will record three songs with him, and if any of them hit, then we got a deal. No shit, huh? That's a no brainer. But anyway, that was the deal. We'll record three songs with him. If any of them hit, we got a deal. And if not, then you can just carry his little ass back to Texas where you got it from. And the rest is history. Or history in the making because I'm telling you that after 30 years, he's still kicking today. Now America, I'm going to need for you to be sure and tune in to this second segment of the eighth episode of Backroads America because we got a lot more straight talk to go through. So until then, I'll see you on the back roads. And oh, how you shine The blush on your cheeks Is more than the wine But he must do something That I didn't do Whatever he's doing It looks good on you You look so good in love You want him That's easy you look so good in love I wish 
you still 